The government is keen to ensure local participation of businesses in the changing business environment, but wants citizens to understand their individual roles in ensuring preparedness for the big league. So says the Minister of Tourism, Industry and Commerce, Onage Waldron, under whose remit the development of small businesses fall. During 2022, under the direction of the Small Business Bureau, the government deployed efforts to ensure that emerging and existing small businesses are compliant for graduation for high-stakes dealings. Because ordinarily, we, as you know, our uh, traditions have been as a mom and pop, you know, shop, you don't uh, go out there. But this idea of where Guyana is going, it's, it's big business. And the um, consortiums are not possible if you're not organized and structured and being registered, being compliant are all parts of those things. Compliance would see businesses paying their taxes to the Guyana Revenue Authority and making financial contributions to the National Insurance Scheme. This amounts to ensuring that the finances of businesses are more organized and there is better record keeping. Walrun reminded too that the procurement laws of Guyana mandate that businesses must have a compliance and consequential failure to do so would see local businesses losing out on opportunities made available by the government. This is the big leagues and you really have to, it is not enough to, um, you, 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 the way that you've been operating, you have to now think of, of the, the big picture and get, get yourselves organized. And for some of us, uh, Guyanese businesses, the, um, the idea is to learning about corporate structure, putting, um, getting incorporated, uh, setting up in consortium because the amount of capital that some of these investments and, and, and partnerships are going to need, especially with a foreign company and you're speaking about oil and gas and other kinds of um, businesses, but particularly oil and gas, the capital expenditure that is needed is large and one sole proprietor cannot uh, by himself or herself uh, engage in, in that. Walrun further stressed that Guyanese businesses must pay more attention to becoming incorporated instead of conducting sole proprietorships. She urged that they become more open to partnerships and less distrusting. Altogether, she believes there is enough of the pie for everyone to have, both foreign and local, and said the challenge is now to grow past the one-man type of business operations. For the newsroom, Kurt Campbell.